So with the different locations, um, like we find the location based on the tweet coordinates, and then you get there and sort of see, you know, see what there is. This one, the tweet was, uh, has anyone wished they did not choose a career that more than likely you run into someone in your past you rather not see or rather not ever want to see each however you love your job, hashtag me too, hashtag kids too, hashtag love my job but. So it sounds True. like somebody had a me too moment at work that changed the way they thought about them, themselves and their job environment mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So we're always looking for those kinds of uh, resonances when we choose the tweets, you know, thinking about sort of significant moments in people's life or epiphanies or first person storytelling or, you know, all of those kinds of things. And the best we can hope for, we can plan for lighting. So this tweet was kind of uh, struck resonance with me in a melancholic way. So I tried to go out. It was right after a rain. It's been really sunny here this summer, so. It was nice to catch a gray sky, which is how I know Rochester best. So went out at that point and you just cross your fingers and there's going to be something there that is going to resonate in the photograph. Look at that one. I kind of like that one. Yeah, was, That's different. I was trying to decide which one. So what it's we're like looking at here is a park. Uh, it initially started with some photographs of the playground equipment, but we're currently looking at a backstop for a baseball diamond. And uh, then there's some houses in the background. We don't exactly know the circumstances that brought somebody to this park to, you know, tweet this image, but I'm kind of into the uh, the backdrop one just because we see the the houses in the background mm -hmm. and sort of centers it in the neighborhood, and thinking about the park as a sort of communal site of exchange or something like that. But how like the fence looked like it was unfolding. It was so old that it's all crooked, and it really looks like some origami kind of screen unfolding. Oh, that's nice. But I think I like the other one better. Yeah. I think I like the other angle better on yeah. it. Yeah. I like that one. Or the same one we keep. I mean, this is this the one, one we marked initially. Yeah, I like that but, one. There's uh, those little white flowers in the corner. But these aren't bad. They're a little bit closer. So sometimes we're debating, you know, how close, you know, to the thing, like how much proximity is good versus uh, how much you want to allow something to breathe or to, to contemplate the wide open space, you know, that it may be located in. So you'll see we give mm -hmm. anything that strikes us a two star and then we'll go back and look at the two stars and eventually raise them up to five or four stars. It's kind of how it'll work. Two That's just means that there's something uh, interesting, you know, about it that makes us want to spend more time with it. It's and nice. uh, I think out of this set we marked maybe three or four mm -hmm. of those images, you know, as being of interest. And then we'll go back through and, uh, figure out which one is, yeah, is the definitive image. The bat, when you zoom in on the, um, it's got a nice net there. I'm with you, the, the one you start is the best on that side. I don't know, it could be tucked into some of these that are a little bit more at a distance. Hmm. The other thing we keep in mind is we're looking at it on a fairly small, fairly small screen right now, and for the exhibition we're printing 30, 40, so they'll be much bigger. Mm -hmm. And I just wonder how they open up differently, you know, at that size than they do in Lightroom on the computer here. Churning away on laptops. The cameras we shoot with are pretty high resolution, so sometimes the computer takes a moment to render the image. I just tried to zoom in, and it's been loading for a minute or so here. Okay. So. Like, I kind of like that netting when I zoomed in. Yeah. It just seems so typical Rochester. I can be talked into that one farther away. I think this is the farther away mm -hmm. one that I like. 